Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Uh, this is Milan Levis, and uh, today is uh, um, a mini class, sort of, uh, that uh, I announced um, yesterday uh, at the beginning of my four mini class series on managing money intentionally. I said that today I want to share with you some of the questions that have been asked through my, um, you know, many interviews that I had. Uh, recently and uh, you know via uh, private messages emails etc I think some of the questions that I've been asked would be very um, uh, useful uh, for you as well to see how uh, you know maybe other people uh, experience challenges and uh, have questions and maybe they will resonate with you as well um, so again I'm Milan Levis uh, my uh, my role is uh, to help women to become financially empowered uh, my role my mission and my my um, passion and um, uh, I'm uh, uh, offering uh, an amazing program that is uh, basically a combination of all my uh, own experiences and uh, trials and errors uh, and um, uh, knowledge that helped me to become financially independent within seven years so of course I'm talking about Lasting Wealth Academy, which starts on March 1st. So um, again, this is a program that uh, will allow you to feel more confident, more competent uh, about your uh, abilities to uh, create wealth, to manage wealth, and uh, frankly, not just uh, financial wealth, but um, you know, big picture, um, you know, overall wealth which includes uh, feeling better about yourself, feeling better about your life, about your opportunities, about your possibilities. So again, the program starts on March 1st. It's by application only. And today we're gonna go over some of the questions that I received. So I put them together, so I will read the questions and then I will give you my answers. So uh, first I want to start with a question, um, is it possible to create wealth if you uh, don't leave your purpose yet. Okay, so that's that's a very interesting question because a lot of uh, women they are so determined to find their purpose and uh, uh, you know maybe maybe it's a good pursuit. I don't know. I personally came to conclusion that I don't want to chase anything in my life in, anymore. I want to expand my awareness. I want to um, expand my uh, my skills, my um, uh, abilities to. Uh, you know, to convey my message, like, for example, you know, for me, it's a marketing. So certain skills and my ability to see the potential that um, my I see uh, in my life and uh, help other women to see it. So, but I just want to tell you, as it pertains to this particular question, um, I came across a lot of, a lot of women who, uh, absolutely confident that they leave their purpose and yet they still um, feel you know financial struggles so um, my, my answer would be um, it's uh, you know preferably that you can make uh, you know very uh, very good living doing what you love uh, but it doesn't have to you don't have to start there right so you can I always say start where you are don't wait until you find your purpose and then you will start your um, uh, journey to financial independence start where you are use the resources that you have educate yourself so you will know what exactly you do and create a uh, put put in place financial structure that will support your um, pursuit and uh, and be disciplined with your intention so um, that's the that's the first question that I wanted to cover another one was um, related to this can I become wealthy if I have a, a job not a business uh, well you uh, I'm sure you know a lot of people who have you know high positions or maybe um, you know have their own company uh, and um, you know that has promising potential and they they can make good money um, of course and, and become wealthy and financially independent but you know it depends on the job right uh, however, with this being said, I don't want you to feel like if you have a job right now that you don't have a chance to become wealthy. It's absolutely not true. Uh, many of you who know my story know that 
Um, I started as a florist assistant, right? Florist assistant who couldn't even speak English, who was, uh, um, you know, getting paid minimum uh, wage. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it was my breed job. It was, it was uh, a phase in my life when uh, that's what I had to do to uh, support my family. But, you know, whatever job you have right now, it doesn't have to be your, you know, end of career kind of job, right? So it could be your bridge job. And, uh, you know, sometimes in life you do what you need to do to support yourself and support your family. But it doesn't mean that you should not have a, uh, you know, your vision uh, should be alive. And, um, you know, every um, uh, next job that you may choose or business that you may choose will get you closer to your vision. That's the, that's the idea. Okay, next question. Um, this one is about uh, Lasting Wealth Academy. Will the Lasting Wealth Academy work for me? I've tried some money courses in the past and they didn't uh, work for me. How is this training different? I think it's a great question because um, I know a lot of people who take uh, courses, especially if they're not expensive courses or, or free courses, they take a lot of courses and they, you know, the, they, they have all these uh, manuals and they put them on the shelves and they don't do anything with them. So I had this, you know, what, you know, there is even term uh, uh, that people coined for, for the, that kind of experience, uh, seminar junkies. I had this in mind when I created this course. So it's not just a program, it's a training. It's a very hands-on training where I will be with you every week. Uh, not only I will share with you my, my knowledge and my, you know, the, the whole toolkit, I will be, uh, you know, I will keep you accountable and you will have a body who will also maybe uh, keep you accountable. So this is something that I totally expect you to act on your knowledge, not only receive the knowledge, but actually act on this. And, um, you know, ultimately it's also important that you feel that you can achieve your, uh, your vision and uh, the intentions that you set for yourself. So we're gonna work on your beliefs about your abilities to uh, achieve your goals, to achieve your vision. Right, so that's part of the course as well. So I feel that the fact that uh, this course is uh, integra has integrative approach to um, creating wealth. So we're absolutely going to work on mindset because it's a, it's a, you know I cannot um, emphasize how enough how important this this uh, aspect of building wealth is your mindset. We're going to work on this as well. But you're also going to get um, practical, very practical uh, tools that you will be able to apply as we go along. And, uh, you know, I have uh, all the description uh, about, you know, this program uh, on uh, uh, lastingwealthacademy.com. I don't want to spend time right now going over this, but uh, what I want to say is that uh, this this training is uh, has... Um, uh, integrative approach and uh, I had in mind to make sure that it's not just something that you just read and uh, get bored with and, and move on to the next course and the next course okay um, basically the box stops here and uh, and I will make sure that you um, see the measurable uh, progress measurable progress okay next question uh, how long will it take for me to become wealthy well <laughs> Uh, this is a great question because all of us want to become wealthy um, kind of tomorrow, right? Well, as you know, um, I don't believe, or maybe you don't know, I don't believe in um, uh, get uh, rich quick schemes. Uh, why? Because maybe, maybe because I tried some of them and I know, uh, you know, how this kind of uh, opportunities um, end up. So I believe in a, a intentional, strategic um, uh, wealth building. That's why I called it. I call it Lasting Wealth Academy. So um, that's what I teach. And as you as you know, um, you know, very uh, big aspect, uh, very big aspect of building wealth is uh, using leverage, right? So leverage of time, leverage of money, leverage of your energy, your attention. Um, other resources that you may have. So, and time is one of the aspects, right? So you 
can uh, get lucky and you know buy Bitcoin uh, at the low price and then it will jump and uh, you know you will make money if you sell on time but this is um, this is gambling I don't gamble when it comes to creating wealth um, I just don't you know maybe maybe you can find someone else who uh, could get you there uh, quicker I think that um, for me my journey to creating lasting wealth uh, turn out to be a transformational journey for me and uh, you know there is a reason for this so because my end goal is not just uh, help you to have more money my end goal for you to be to have more joy to have more um, fulfillment in life to have more life love in life um, especially love for yourself and wealth and financial independence and freedom that will award you to uh, be in a position where you can choose what you do, where you live, how much or how little you work, etc. So that's that's why I do what I do. And uh, the journey is uh, um, differ. The length of the journey differs for different people. You know, for some it could be shorter, for other people it could be longer. The goal, the point is that I want you to believe that it is possible for you, and uh, and start as soon as you. Uh, feel that you're ready and I hope that you are ready because this you know this journey is uh, very important I call it journey to freedom and uh, uh, that that's what it was for me it was my journey to freedom not only financial freedom but also personal freedom that was question um, about how long um, it will take to become wealthy Next question was, um, I work really, really hard and I am frugal about spending my money, yet I still don't have enough money to feel wealthy. How this training will help me feel more ease and less worry about money? You know, this is an excellent question because I know, um, I know some women who are really very diligent with uh, how they spend money. They they watch every um, every uh, dollar or every euro that they have, right? They they very very um, uh, vigilant about spending, and to the point that you know it's um, they 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 frugal, and uh, I understand that there is a. Um, for some people, they feel that it's a very fine line between frugality and being disciplined about uh, your financial habits and your spending habits. However, I think the main difference is where where your decision to save or spend or invest, where does decision come from? Does it come from a place where you feel uh, scarcity, where you feel uh, Kind of contracted you know where you uh, the, the monologue that you have with yourself is um, I have to do that I um, you know I cannot spend this money I need to save I need to save like if if you feel this pressure this contraction um, this is this is not basically it's it's a um, scarcity mentality you know even though it dressed uh, up like you know financial discipline but it's not it's not because you come from a place of uh, contraction, from a place of obligation, from a place of uh, uh, scarcity. So instead, what I suggest is if you um, feel that, I believe that money uh, likes purpose. Money likes to, to know, because it's energy, right? So it likes to know what you want this money for. So instead, if you come from, if you have some vision for, um, you know, what you want to achieve in life, what you want to experience in life. So if you decide what, what are you um, saving money for? What is the goal that you have? What are the values that you want to support with, um, with uh, your spending or your, your saving? If you, ha if you come from this place of, you know, Thanks God, I am. I have an amazing life. Thanks God, I'm rich. Because each of us, um, honestly, you know, I'm sure that uh, everyone who is watching this video can honestly say that um, you have all the basics covered, right? You you have uh, clean water, you have food on the table, you have roof over your head, and you know, 
so many people in the world don't have that. So from this perspective, uh, if you feel that, you know what, I am rich, I am grateful for the uh, life that I have right now, but uh, I also want to, maybe not but, and I also want to maybe um, buy a new house, and maybe I would like to go on uh, vacation uh, or, you know, take this training that will help me to feel more confident and more empowered. So if you have specific goal and you uh, come from your, um, uh, come, you know, to uh, your decision to save, for example, money or spend money from this place, it makes a huge difference because, you know, this, um, not only words have energy, your thoughts have particular energy vibration, and uh, that will uh, help you to align with the vision that you may have for, for your life and for your work. So um, again, it's it's not just just save money, it's why you do what you do. Your why will uh, really give you an answer how you feel about uh, money in your life, how, what is your relationship with, uh, with money, right? Because we know that we all have relationship with money. Is it something, money, uh, is it something that you fearful about that you will not have enough? Or is it, uh, like your, your friend who is always there for you and, you know, you, you know that, um, you love your friend and your friend loves you, something like that, right? So it's very important, uh, where you come from when it comes to your, actions. Next question. I have noticed that I have no problem making money, but then I spend it all and I still uh, have just enough. How will this training, the last uh, Wealth Academy training, help me save my money? Well, I kind of um, touched on this a little bit in the previous answer because I believe that it's um, it's your beliefs about what is possible for you. Maybe in the past you uh, had experience when you had just enough, um, you know, and again, this uh, pertains to people with all kinds of income, you know, from, from really uh, uh, maybe minimum wage uh, um, income to uh, multiple six figures or even seven figures, you know, it depends how much, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep right and and how you uh, make this money work for you so this training is uh, again not only about um, specific tools how to um, how to make money but it's about your strategic approach to planning your money to establishing um, financial structure in your life so, uh, you know, I, I emphasize strategic because, like I said, I believe that you have to be strategic um, about planning your savings, planning your, your, your spending, and planning your investing because you, uh, you want to have a big picture. You don't just want to live in the present moment, which is one of the biases that, you know, uh, all humans have. We, a lot of us all of us, we tend to focus on what we need to uh, spend money on right now. And um, I'm a big advocate of having strategic approach, having bigger picture and say, okay, so for this, I, you know, for immediate needs, this, like, for example, I will have 80% of my income focused on this, or 70% of my income. But then I want to plan uh, on other things that I want to experience down the road. Uh, from maybe uh, becoming financially independent or uh, building safe retirement. Um, so that will help you, you know, this kind of uh, risk management, which is very important aspect of what I teach in all my trainings. Risk ma management, risk management is, uh, is uh, essential for uh, having strategic approach to uh, building lasting wealth. And, um, uh, we, in this, in uh, Lasting Wealth Academy, I talk about risk management, I talk about strategic uh, approach to um, managing money or managing money intentionally, and, uh, um, and we also cover um, mindset, not only within like, you know, a few modules that are allocated purely for mindset, but 
for the entire duration of the program, for the entire four months, we're going to come back to mindset, reinforce, you know, because, um, you know, we all have these hidden beliefs and these are like peeling layers, right? There's all these limiting beliefs that we may not always be aware of and and you know things will come up for you and it's good because you know whatever you have on the surface whatever you're aware of you can deal with so that's why i uh i want to say that this program is such a um comprehensive uh program in terms of dealing with all possible um issues you you may uh, have in your you may have had in your past um you know, in terms of maybe losing money or maybe you had a challenging divorce and, you know, you're still recovering from the uh, damages, uh, financial damages, or maybe you invested um, and lost money, you know, whatever, whatever your, uh, you know, kind of bad experiences might be in the past. Um, I, I, I'm confident that you will be able to overcome this and find um, a gift in your, in your, uh, you know, negative experiences and, you know, and grow from this. So that's, that's what, um, that's my intention for this program, right? To see that you have more joy, that you have more confidence and feel more competent um, with everything in life, including your finances. And uh, the last question that I want to share with you today is um, this. I am a successful entrepreneur and I make multiple six figure income in my business. However, I'm still stressed out over money. My expenses are staggering. I still have credit card debt. How this training will help me to improve uh, my uh, financial situation? Well, great question because I know that and I came across not once, not twice, many times, uh, women who are actually high earners, whether they have a job or they have a, a business. They, they are high earners, but they're also high spenders. So they, you know, if they have business, they have a lot of business expenses and they, um, you know, feel that this business is their baby and they have to pump this business constantly without, you know, really, um, you know, allowing anything else to, uh, you know, to take these resources from their business, right? So what I want to say um, in regards to this, to this question, it's very important that, again, that you are strategic when you have, um, you know, whether, when you have income from, from your job or from your business. Because you, you need to have a discipline to pay yourself first. You have to pay yourself first. And then you see, okay, so now I, I have uh, money to um, allocate on A, B, and C, etc. So that's, that's one thing. So to have a financial discipline and remember that your, um, your business is, is uh, um, you know, if it's a successful business, provides you income right now. But you have to plan. You have to be strategic about your your money. You cannot just um, you know spend everything that you have right now. There is this uh, term uh, availability bias, and it pertains to to uh, entrepreneurs who make good money right now and they just fly. Not only entrepreneurs, you know, some of the artists or, or uh, you know famous. Uh, uh, sports figures, they make good money now and they, they have big life and then they, because they don't plan, they spend everything and then some of them really struggle financially. So there are certain financial structure that I like um, my clients to establish. So they, you know, it's almost would be automatic once they have the discipline, they don't need to think about this. Uh, this structure will support their uh, short and long learn term um, financial goals so uh, and again uh, this is a lot to do with mindset so this aspect would be taken care of as well and also this this lasting wealth academy training will empower you to have um, important tools that you will um, be able to um, apply yourself or even if you
you want to work with a third party, like maybe financial advisor, you will speak with this uh, person uh, as equal because you will have enough knowledge to ask uh, good questions to to uh, know exactly what you uh, want to expect from this person who will be working with you, etc. So this that's why I call it financial empowerment because whether you will do it yourself, like I chose to do uh, when I took my portfolio from financial advisor and decided to manage it myself, or uh, you know, if you want to work with a third party uh, um, financial professional, it will help you to uh, be in a position of being in, uh, informed client, which is very important because uh, you know you probably know that uh, financial industry. Um, you know, has a way to, um, you know, charge high fees for performance that is not guaranteed, right? So they, they charge you whether, uh, you know, they will deliver uh, the promised results and usually they promise a lot or not. So I, my goal and my, my passion and my mission is to um, help you feel uh, confident about your knowledge, uh, give you, um, options that I available or share with you options that are available for you so you will uh, be more um, exposed to uh, possibilities that are available there right that you know maybe your financial advisor will not even mention because maybe he doesn't get compensated for this you see I'm not licensed financial advisor or um, investment advisor uh, I uh, I have MBA. I you know I have enough training. I have uh, enough experience to uh, to share with you important tool kits. But I I'm not uh, um, compensated uh, you know to sell you particular products. So that's that makes me very very neutral, and that's why I don't want to get license, which I was offered many times to become financial advisor. I want to be neutral. I want to um, share with you what worked for me how I was able to uh, become financially independent within seven years, the tools that I used in terms of investing, in terms of uh, mindset, in terms of um, reconnecting to my uh, divine power within, uh, all of this uh, is part of this Lasting Wealth Academy. And you can imagine, and I know I'm biased, you can imagine that I'm very proud of this uh, uh, training of this offer and I hope you will uh, take advantage of this opportunity and uh, I, I try to make it easy for you so you uh, don't have to make the decision right away you can schedule a call with me and we will just brainstorm and see if it's the right fit for you all right so that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to, sh to share with you and to talk about today in this Q&A um, uh, session and um, with this being said, I hope I will see you on the other side. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, enjoy your day and sending you much love and blessings.